morning everybody shout out to Tyler right over there he came and said hi to me now watches the videos was surprised to see me out here in BC <laughs> I didn't tell anybody I was coming here that's why <laughs> but he found me so I'm sitting here in Langley. Uh, sounds like uh, people back home are closing down on a load, but they'll have to get confirmation first. I might need tarps for it, and it's not set in stone yet, so it still might fall through, so I'm not getting too excited yet. We're waiting for freight leaving British Columbia going east. That's worth our time. And once we find something that's actually worth our time, I'm gonna go put it on my trailer, tie it down. I might have to tarp it, who knows? It's okay if I do and uh, we'll start heading back towards home. For now, uh, here we sit. So when I say freight that's worth our time, I mean freight that pays enough to pay for our fuel and for myself to get a wage, because I got bills at home too, right? And fuel's not cheap. The problem with British Columbia, and a lot of places really, is that there's companies that are hauling freight for, for a loss. So everybody's competing over loads, right? All across North America. I don't, I'm not sure how it works in Europe or Australia or New Zealand. I'm, I'm not too sure the other parts of the English world. But here, uh, you gotta sort of bid and uh, you know, you all fight over the freight. Unless if you've got shipper direct contracts, which is awesome. Those are always the best. Uh, but then you have to make sure you have the resources to be able to fulfill your promises in that contract, obviously, right? Uh, so that you keep it then the customer has a dedicated fleet that's guaranteed to haul their loads. So it works for them, gives them peace of mind, making sure that they have trucks available to haul their freight. And it also gives the trucking company uh, a little bit of peace of mind knowing that they got work for the drivers, consistent work guaranteed. But other than, other than that, other than like shipper direct contracts, you got to uh, a bid on loads and you got to fight over loads that are available, posted to load boards and stuff uh, with other companies. And uh, obviously, the people who are brokering these loads, they're gonna take the lowest offer. Whoever will do it for the cheapest. I mean, there's some of these uh, companies out here who will haul it at a loss just to get that load and get their truck moving, right? Some of these companies are huge mega carriers that can afford to run a few loads at a loss to get their trucks into a better area. Now, keep in mind that I'm the driver. I've never actually uh, had to deal with that side of trucking, thankfully. <laughs> That's the side of trucking that I'm not really interested in being involved in. Maybe one day, uh, maybe, but uh, you know, this is this is where my calling is out here on the road. I was telling you yesterday uh, that I'm very thankful for the office staff back home that take care of all those headaches for me. So they find the freight. I own the equipment here. I own the truck and my equipment. So uh, they'll uh, figure out a rate for the load. And then they'll tell me what that rate is. I can say yay or nay. I usually say yes. I very rarely say no. Uh, very, very rarely. There has to be a really good reason because they do a good job already. And uh, you know, it's better to get moving at that point. If I'm gonna be running at a loss, well then yeah, I, I'd, I'd have to turn it down. I don't wanna run this thing at a loss. I, I have bills to pay, I have a family to feed. I'm not doing this for charity, right? <laughs> so. They, they've always been good to me though. They always they always negotiate good rates for me and then uh, they take a cut off of it and I get the majority of it because I have the majority of the expenses and there's a, there's a whole contract involved there. You didn't see nothing. I just got a message come through here. That was a very, very welcomed pudding. What do we got here? load assignment we are picking up a load in Burnaby right now and it's going to Edmonton so that's getting us over the mountains anyways back to the prairies Hallelujah! pick up ASAP deliver Monday okay so we'll be going to Edmonton I'll probably be in Edmonton tomorrow then we'll get a reset there by the sounds of it deliver it Monday morning we'll be ready to go for next week I'm happy that means I'm getting paid to go through the mountains and not going through the mountains empty Good, this is fantastic. Oh, I gotta fill something out, like a safety card or something. All right, okay. 
there's work to be done. Old blue is ready to go. All right. until 5. I'm going to arrive there at about 2.30. That should be plenty enough time to get loaded and get tied down and get out of there before they want to go home. I'm not sure what I'm picking up. Exit 37, Giglardi Way. Giglardi. 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 Giglardi Way. Giglardi. In 500 meters, take exit 37, Guglardi Way, and then slide right in 360 meters. Guglardi, Guglardi, Guglardi. This is us. In 300 meters, slide right on Guglardi Way, and then slide right in 150 meters. In 100 meters, slide right on Caribou Road and then slide right in 60 meters. Oh, the cops got a truck pulled over over there. We're going to silently slip by over here. What he was doing. Very bad. Slide right. I'm turning. Okay, then what? Straight? Straight? Okay. Caribou Road. Everything is so green here. It's crazy. Alright, so I looked up these roads, and they're, they are truck roads, but they're going to be kind of small truck roads, like narrow, which should be fun. I'm going to turn right, right here. You're going to cut in front of me, aren't you? Oh, I knew he was tempted. He was tempted. Now, how am I going to make this corner? This is going to be uh, very, very tight and interesting. Why is my windshield fogging up here? Come on. Uh, and there's a car right up to the stop line, too.
uncomfortably wet and moist. So we have some problems. We have some problems. Uh, we can't load the freight today. We gotta do it Monday. So the plans for getting loaded today fell through. Something went wrong with the load or with the freight. And uh, yeah, we'll be stuck down here in uh, southern uh, BC, in the lower mainland, all weekend. Which, I mean, it's not a bad place to be stuck in. I'll, I'll keep myself busy. I gotta completely pull everything out of this truck. All, everything off my shelves here. I'm gonna organize everything. I can always find something to do. Got my videos to, to keep me busy. That always takes a lot of time. But it's not like I got nothing to do. I, I have lots to do. But my truck won't be running. It won't be, we won't be in Alberta Monday morning. It looks like I'll be getting uh, my freight first thing Monday morning here in BC. And then running out to Edmonton, being in Edmonton for first thing Tuesday instead of first thing Monday. And then we'll try to get home from there. I do need to get home by the end of this coming week because I need to get this truck safety. So I've got one week to get home, which is plenty of time. It's two to three days to get home. And I'll have, I have uh, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday to get home, six days. Shouldn't be a problem but it's kind of unfortunate. So uh, that's where we're at. Came all the way here and uh, the freight is wrong. Something happened, so delays, delays. We're gonna go back to the truck stop where we were at and uh, camp out there, wait for Monday. And then we'll get our load back, back east. Make our way home eventually. Having some trouble getting out of BC here though. I hate trying to get around in these cities down here. Am I on the right route? I don't know. I think I'm going the right way. Is this gonna turn into a non-truck route? I don't know, maybe. What am I gonna do then? I don't know. Okay, I'm still on the road I'm supposed to be on, I think. Karen's not yelling at me, there's so many ways around here. Okay, so I think, yeah, it's gonna go down here. At least I hope I'm going the right way. going to turn into a non-truck route? I, I don't know. There's a truck right there. It makes me feel better. Okay. All right, we're okay. I have no idea. I know that this road loops around, goes a little bit down by the river, and then it meets back up with the Trans-Canada, and that's where I'm trying to get to, the Trans-Canada Freeway. I looked at all my options. This was the most direct truck route. As long as I'm not the only truck on the... Oh, here's a sign right here on the right. Trucks, this way. Okay. Thank God. Trucks go this way towards the congestion and all the big buildings. We want you in the most congested area of the city. Come on this way. Come on down. Explore our city. What is this? Is this Richmond? It's I don't know. Keep to the right on Front Street. See they got signs above the road here? Thank God. Trucks this way. Trucks this way. Okay. I'm a truck. I'm going this way. I am definitely a prairie boy. I don't I don't belong here. Just let me out, please. This is... In 200 meters, keep to the right on Front Street.
get in your lane. Get off your phone, stay in your lane. So lucky for me, this truck stop is not busy at all on the weekends. I thought for sure that by the time I got back here that uh, all the parking would be taken and that I, I wouldn't have anywhere to park. I wanted to stay nearby because uh, the load is in Burnaby that we got to get on Monday now. Uh, I don't know what happened, but wasn't ready today. It was the wrong freight. So, uh, got a spot here. Uh, there's a nice restaurant right here called Triple O's. I don't know if you've ever had their food. It's a fast food restaurant, but it's like a gourmet fast food. I had a burger from there last night. It's expensive. $30. $30 for a burger, uh, fries, and uh, and uh, a drink. The milkshake. I know. I'm not eating the best, but I can't always eat vegetables and, and, and apples everywhere I go. So, <laughs> It was delicious. It was $30 to feed one person at a fast food restaurant. Remember when fast food was supposed to be the affordable option, you know, because it's fast and easy? You're supposed to quickly, you know, go give a quick five bucks and quickly get a burger. And it's, you know, it's not like you're going to a sit down, big fancy restaurant or anything. But if, if my wife was here, we had to feed two people and my son, yeah, too. Like it'd be like 60 bucks for two people. I remember like going to fancy restaurants like Olive Garden and stuff like that, Applebee's and Montana's and 60 bucks would feed two of you there and we'd be like, oh wow, that was a fancy meal, you know, $60 is quite a bit. Now it's like you pull up to McDonald's and you gotta like call your bank, see if you can get a loan. Hey, I'd like a, I'd like a double, uh, a, a double quarter pounder, do you think I could pull it off? Can you borrow me? It's crazy, right? Anyway, I figured I'd just share that with you, delicious food delicious food so in my opinion okay it was worth it but uh, just, this is BC remember what BC stands for BC bring cash you thought it stood for British Columbia <laughs> that's how they suck you in now <laughs> once you're here then they suck you dry of all your cash so you got to bring lots of cash but with all, with all that aside I'm a little bit frustrated that maybe that's why I'm just being a little bit whiny and complaining I apologize I know I always get comments right away that I complain too much but I hope that it just makes you chuckle and makes you laugh I'm not trying to bring you down or anything just sort of $30 for a fast food meal like, come on right right ah the world we live in uh, we're all living in the same world right it's not just me so I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be just sitting right here. It'll probably be a one-taker vlog. It'll be a short one probably, just sitting here talking, no trucking. I wish there was trucking, but uh, the next day will be the same. So Saturday, Sunday, we got uh, just vlogs sitting here doing our reset. And then Monday morning, we'll be going to grab that freight. And then we'll be heading through the mountains and that should be a really scenic video. So I hope you guys tune in for that because that'll be a really fun one. But come hang out with me this weekend anyways. I'll be lonely sitting here all by myself. I'd love to have you, uh, have you here with me. So I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Take care. Remember, if you're coming to BC, bring cash. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. I almost forgot to tell you. Before you go, quick, make sure you subscribe.